film this video talking. Um, I don't have a microphone, so I'm just hoping that my camera picks up audio well enough for this to work. If it doesn't, it'll be a voiceover and you'll just see my mouth moving and it'll be really weird. But we're gonna try to talk. <laughs> um, so today, I checked my mail and my BoxyCharm came um, like four days early, which is actually pretty cool. So I have it right here. I already have my base and my brows on because um, those aren't something I can really uh, do with what's in the box. Um, but we're gonna do the rest of my face with what's in this box. Oops. Um, it's fine. I'm first just gonna go over what came in my BoxyCharm and the prices and what variation I got and all that stuff and then we'll get into uh, actually creating a look with it. Every month you get a palette. Um, this palette is from Pretty Vulgar and um, it looks like this. I'm gonna hold it upside down because I don't really want... I'm gonna do this. Haha, <laughs> how's that? Um, it's a very neutral toned eyeshadow palette which I'm not really sure I super duper dig but I have a feeling I'm just gonna give it to a friend after this use because I don't think I'll be really getting much out of it. This palette retails for $35. So the next product that we got um, are these three brushes. These retail for $18. You get like a fluffy crease brush and then two kind of like concealer brushes. The next product is this lipstick from Hank and Henry. This is a liquid lip and it's in the shade Petal Pusher. This dries down matte and this retails for $17. I actually really 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 like the color. I think it's gonna be like super duper pretty with whatever look we create. I like that this came with like kind of a neutral palette because I have a hard time when they send bright palettes and then a neutral lipstick and like, I don't know, I like to go bold with my lipstick when I go bold with my eyes. I know that's kind of breaking the rules of makeup, but that's what I do, so whatever, there are no rules. Um, the next product is um, this like roller wheel, um, not mascara, eyeliner. Um, I think MAC or was the originator of this. Um, but this is from Butter London. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to make this work, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, I just hope that it doesn't like ruin the entire makeup look. And then the last product that we have this month um, is this blush from Laura Geller. Oh, did I mention that this eyeliner is $19? This retails for $19. Um, this is a blush from Laura Geller. It's a baked blush. It's really, really, really shimmery, which I, I can I can make it work, but I prefer matte blushes usually. Um, and this retails for twenty eight dollars. I don't have my glasses on. Sorry. Yeah, twenty eight dollars. So this is twenty eight. Um, All together, I did it up. It's one hundred and seventeen dollars total. So it's twenty one dollars a month for a box that's value is one hundred and seventeen. So I'm gonna take that um, really fluffy brush that we got in this brush set. Be quick, just to set whatever concealer I have on my lid. I'm gonna take this um, shade Nocturnal. Um, and I'm going to put that all over the lid to not only brighten, but just set the concealer that's on my lid so that my eyelids stop creasing. That's annoying and not cute. So I'm going to take the shade Hide and Seek, which is like this cool toned, grayy color. And I'm just going to start buffing that into the crease. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Um, and just kind of like winging it out slightly because I like that shape um, of eyeshadow on my eyes. So I'm just tucking this into the crease and then we'll go in and blend it up after. I actually really like this color. This brush is super, super nice for blending out colors. Also, these shadows seem like they kind of just blend themselves, which I really appreciate. So I'm just gonna take another brush and I'm gonna take the shade Flip Out, which is like this really, really pretty warm shade. I really hope it um, works well. Because when I saw it, when I opened this palette, I was like, wow, that's a really pretty color. Um, I don't really have any idea what direction I'm going with this. I'm just kind of playing with it and we'll see where it goes. I don't really want to be taking this onto the lid, it just kind of happened, so I'm going to have to cut the crease later, but that's okay. I 
back into the shade hide and seek which is that first color that we started with and i'm just going to go back and blend out all these edges really lightly i really like this look with this shirt that i'm wearing this is um at lee merch go follow her i will her her channel is actually one that's linked on my uh profile if you click on my youtube page it should pop up with a few of my favorite artists that you can also follow she is definitely on that list okay i like that i'm gonna go back in um with flip out again just on that same little brush from before and i'm just going to kind of focus that on the outer v area just to kind of deepen it Today I'm going to go in a, with a darker color in just a second, so it doesn't really matter too much. I feel like these shadows blend really well, however there are a few spots where I think it's a little bit patchy and I don't, I mean it could totally be me, I could be terrible at makeup, but it could also be the eyeshadow. Um, so that's just something I'm keeping in mind. I'm not super happy with the way that that looks, but I'm going to just let it go. And I'm going to take the shade Swoop which is an even darker brown and I'm going to, oops, I didn't pick up a lot of product honestly, and I'm going to use that to really further deepening the crease, further deepen the crease area. And yeah, these shadows are acting a little bit patchy, which is kind of annoying, but Again, like I could be terrible at makeup, I'm just also, I don't think that's the case, but it could be. It's just looking so patchy. I'm going to take a second just off camera to um, try and get this kind of even and good looking and then I will come back. Um, I'm just going to keep going in with colors and different brushes and trying to get this as look as even as possible, um, but I'm going to have to get kind of close to my stand mirror, so I can't do that while holding this. So I'm going to go off camera real quick and then I'll be right back. And I'll let you know how this goes. It might not work very well. Um, I did the best I could. I think that some shades on this palette work very well. Um, I definitely like this sh shade um, Hide and Seek. I think that Flip Out could be a little bit patchy, which is unfortunate because I do think this color is really pretty. And then this shade just isn't working for me. Like, it's just, it's very patchy. It has a very hard time blending. If you blend, it just kind of goes away. I don't dig it. But I worked very hard on it. Um... <laughs> I use some of my own brushes to make sure it's not um, the brushes that we got in BoxyCharm, but it's not. It's all brushes. It's just the shadows that are the issue. Um, but that's okay. I think from a distance it looks good. I don't think it looks that great. I'm going to go and I'm going to take um, another one of these brushes from um, the Alomar collection. And I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use the shade Clutch, which is like this kind of cool toned rose goldy shade. It's very interesting. Um, it looks very pretty. So, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do a full cut crease, I'm just gonna do a half cut crease because I think that'll look best with this look, especially because this area out here is really patchy and I feel like if I cut the full crease it would be extra noticeable how patchy it is. So I'm just trying to really work with how these shadows are performing. It's unfortunate that they're not really working for me, but it's okay. Hopefully this works well without me having to um, wet my brush. I think that the foundation on my eye is I don't, it's not, it's not shimmery. Okay, let's try this one more time. Mm, okay. Definitely working a little bit better than it was a second ago. Um, yeah. This palette has given me trouble. And really make sure that those edges are cute. They're just not though. Like it's super duper 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 patchy. Mm, just not good. My review of this palette is it's not good. Um, okay, 
we're gonna keep trucking along though it's gonna be great we're going to um take the shade break free which is kind of like a shimmery pearl shade and i'm gonna put that on my inner corner and i'm gonna put that on my oh god oh no that looks okay okay i'm gonna put that on my inner corner it's kind of really cool toned which kind of clashes um weirdly with the shade on my lid that's okay though it's like very it's pulling off a little bit blue which is kind of weird um i'm sure it'd be really 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 pretty with these blue shades in here but it's not looking so hot uh next i'm going to take this little flat guy also from the alamar brush set and i'm going to take the shade all nighter which is the black color fun and i'm just going to start kind of keeping that really close to the lower lash line Kind of like tight lining my eye. I'm gonna keep that on the outer portion of my eye. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the shade Break Free and Swoop, which are the dark brown colors, and I'm gonna use those to blend out the oh god. To blend out that black on the lower lash line. Cute. It's looking like bag of trash what is this what's happening oh my god i've literally never had this problem with eyeshadow before and it's just this is terrible we're gonna set aside this eyeshadow palette for a little bit we're just gonna give it a little bit of a break because i can't with it anymore it needs to go away um and we're gonna work on the eyeliner hopefully this eyeliner works for us because i swear to god if this eye look is any worse I'm putting on my biggest pair of lashes to cover this crap up. Okay, I got one line going pretty good. The problem is, is coming back down. I really use the flexibility of my brush when I do my eyeliner to my advantage and this doesn't have any flexibility because this is just a piece of plastic. So we'll see. I can see it working for some people to draw out the shape of their wing and that's literally it because I don't know how I'm going to drag this across my eyelid. I also don't know how to fill in the outline that I've created. It's just dragging a piece of plastic on my eye. Sis, this isn't... This isn't okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take an eyeliner that I know works well. I'm going to take um, my favorite eyeliner and I'm going to complete this wing because I can't just leave it how it is but I also can't work with that eyeliner. Um, so I'm going to go and put on mascara and any finishing touches and lashes and all of that um, and I'm going to do my other eye off camera and then I will be back and we'll move on to the rest of the products and I'll give my thoughts. Um, I think you already know my thoughts. <laughs> They're not positive. Um, but I will be right back. I'm just going to finish up my eyes and we'll be back for the rest of my face. Okay, I'm back. I have tried my best to fix this look. Um, I think that lashes definitely help cover up the parts that are patchy. Um, I think that from a distance this look doesn't look too bad and I would leave the house wearing this and I'm going to to go get dinner um, in a bit after I finish up the rest of my makeup. Um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely do not recommend this palette. If you got it in your BoxyCharm, I hope you can make it work, but I can't. The brushes, I uh, really, 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 really like. So these are definitely going to be going into my brush cut and live in there. 
and these are gone. And then the eyeliner, this like honestly, if I wasn't, I would throw it away if I wasn't like too much of a pussy to throw a full thing of makeup away. I'm just gonna give it to someone, but I don't really know anybody that could make this work. This is just, I don't like it. I'm gonna take this um, blush from Laura Geller and we're gonna rosy up my cheeks a bit. I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and brush back. I probably should have started with a little bit less blush on the brush because I didn't know how pigmented it would be, but I am like, I really like blush, so it doesn't actually bug me if I put on too much. little extra oomph to my highlighter too which I appreciate. I'm also gonna put a little bit across my nose bridge because I like to look sunburnt. Okay this is a good product and I think I will use it fairly often. I actually really 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 like this blush so good job not sucking. I appreciate you. And the last product that's in our box for this month is this lipstick from Hank and Henry. This packaging is so freaking cute. I just love that it like it looks like a lipstick, but it's a liquid lipstick. It's just like the shape of the bottle on the inside. It's so freaking cool. I love that. This is um, in the shade Petal Pusher, by the way. It smells like oh no, I almost got that my nose. It smells like um, vanilla honey Greek yogurt, <laughs> which I have in my fridge, which is why I know what that smells like. Yeah, it smells kind of yogurty, which is fine. So a few thoughts on that lipstick. Um, I really, really, really like the color and I really like the texture, but I have a few issues with um, just the applicator. I actually really like the shape and the size of the applicator, but I think that when you pull it out, there's not a lot of product on it. Like it's all on the tip and it doesn't really get on like this part. And it also dries down really, really fast. If I were to leave this out of the tube for too long, it would completely dry up. So like while I'm putting it on, it's drying down and it makes it very hard to move around. Um, I'm just fine, I'll totally make it work because I really actually do, it's completely, like literally almost completely like bud proof. I really, 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 really like this color. Like this is going front and center in the front of my lipsticks with my favorite lipsticks. Um, Cause like I will be wearing this a lot but the applicator did annoy me a little bit. All right, I think that wraps up this month's Boxy Charm. But yeah, this is the finished look. I think that with big lashes, it's um, not terrible, but I really up close, it's super patchy and just not good. This lip though, I actually really, 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 really like. I think it looks so good with like my root color. Um, yeah, so that is this month's OxyCharm. I don't know what else to say. <laughs>